Good morning, parents. I'm Rhonda Grubb, the Media Specialist and Instructional Coach here at Crescent. I want to welcome you to our Fall into Learning Virtual Parent Workshop. The first thing that I'd like to talk about is that I'd like to invite you to join our Facebook parent group page. You can do this by going to tinyurl.com slash Crescent Facebook. And this is a way that you can really stay in the know with what's going on at Crescent. We upload a lot of um, good resources and a lot of good tips for you as parents on this page. The Every Student Succeeds Act is also known as ESSA, and this is the nation's main education law for all public schools. The goal is to fully prepare all students for success in college and in their career. Expectations include rigorous academics, professional qualifications of staff, and parent engagement. To achieve these ESSA mandates, we at Crescent provide equity for disadvantaged and high need students. We teach all students high academic standards. We provide all stakeholders with information about annual statewide assessments that measure students' progress, and we hold ourselves accountable. The School Parent Compact is something that I'm sure you're familiar with. It shows how parents, the school staff, and students, we all share the responsibility for student learning. Our school is focused this year on reading and math. And your child's teacher will go over the compact in more detail with you because each compact is grade level specific. Hello, Crescent parents. It's Miss Chambers, and I have some important information to share with you today. First, we're going to talk about how to monitor student progress. Parents can log on to Infinite Campus and check their students' grades and attendance. They also can access SLDS, which is the State Longitudinal Data System through Infinite Campus to check on their students' um, assessment scores from previous years. Directions for setting up an account can be found on the Parent Resources page on our school's website, and the link is right here provided on this presentation. Now, our CCRPI, the College and Career Ready Performance Index, which is our CCRPI, is Georgia's annual tool for measuring how well its schools, districts, and the state are preparing students for the next educational level. The CCRPI includes five main components, each scored on a scale of zero to 100. And those components are, components are achievement, progress, closing gaps, readiness, and the graduation rate for high school. Those components encompass multiple indicators that are combined for a total CCRPI score on a scale of 0 to 100. The CCRPI also reports other information such as the performance of student subgroups, student climate, and the financial efficiency status. Crescent's last CCRPI score was an 80.9, which was the highest in the county. We did not get a CCRPI score from last school year due to the school shutdown from the COVID pandemic. Now, here's the actual breakdown of the components that go into um, us obtaining our CCRPI score. Content mastery counts for 30%, which is measuring whether students are achieving at the level necessary for the next grade, college, or career. Progress counts for 35% of our score in grades K through eight. And progress measures how much growth students are demonstrating relative to academically similar students. Closing the gaps counts for 15% of our CCRPI score, and it measures whether all students and all subgroups are making improvements in achievement rates. And then 20% of our score for grades K through eight comes from readiness, and that is whether students are demonstrating preparedness for the next grade, college, or career. And that looks at our students' literacy levels, our attendance, and that beyond the core, which is fine arts, world languages, PE, health, and careers. The state of Georgia um, Department of Education also has developed some school designation statuses. Um, these are for schools that are identified as needing to make improvement. We have a comprehensive support and improvement school, which is a CSI, and a TSI school, which is targeted support and improvement. And I am happy to say that Crescent was not designated as either one of these areas for needing improvement.
Copyright is another topic that we'd like to cover today. It's important for kids to understand that copyright means that you own anything that you create. Here are a few tips for you as parents. You can ask your kids where they go to find their content, and that includes songs, movies, images, etc. Know where and how your kids are sharing their own creations. Is it safe? Is it legal? The websites that they're going to. Another thing you might want to discuss is if it's too good to be true, it probably isn't legal. For instance, the movie that opened last night at the theater is most likely not legal if they find it online. And lastly, model respect for ownership. Let your kids see you search for authorized content for yourself and for them. If you would like to find more pointers to get the conversation started with your children, you can visit ikeepsafe.org. The ESOL program is a service that we offer here at Crescent and in all schools in Griffin Spalding. It is a standards-based curriculum emphasizing academic and social language development. ESOL coursework is based upon the world-class instructional design and assessment. The WIDA access is an English language proficiency assessment given to incoming students in grades first through 12 to assist educators with the identification of students as English learners. The purpose of this assessment is to help educators make decisions about whether a student is a candidate for English language support services. And there is a link where you can um, find more information about the ESOL program statewide, and it's on, on the Georgia DOE website. This slideshow will be made available for you on the parent Facebook group page um, later this afternoon. So if any of these links and resources that you see, you can easily access from the slideshow after it's posted. Schools share the following with parents of English learners, ways to be involved in the education of their children, ways to be active participants in assisting their children to attain English proficiency, to achieve at high levels within a well-rounded education, and also to meet the challenging state academic standards that are expected of all students. Next, I would like to share with you some testing practice websites. These websites are designed to help prepare students for the Georgia Milestones testing that will be held in the spring. And this Milestones test is given to all students in third, fourth, and fifth grades here at Crescent. The Georgia Milestones Practice website, IXL, GMAS Test Prep for third through eighth graders, and a daily practice website. Links to all of these websites will be available to you on our parent group page on Facebook. So please make sure that you join that. Lastly, we have some fun academic websites to share with you. Khan Academy, How to Teach Your Monster to Read, Epic Books, Prodigy, and Typing Club. And now Miss Lonnie Crump, a parent here at Crescent is going to share how she uses these websites with her three children at home. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Lonnie and um, I have three children going to Crescent Elementary, one in pre-K, one in third grade, and one in fifth grade. And we're going to be sharing with you some of the apps uh, or websites that um, they like to um, play on or use to uh, help, them help them learn at whatever um, grade level they're on. Um, we're going to first see and talk to Charlie and hi Charlie <laughs> and um, some of the apps that Charlie likes to use um, are first of all she likes an app called um, Khan Academy Charlie can you press Khan Academy please all of these things start Khan Academy kids and this app is pretty cool because it teaches her um, how to sound out letters, um, in the form of games. And, thank you, Charlie. Um, it also teaches her how to, um, trace letters and sound out letters. So that's a 
pretty cool. Charlie, can you trace that real quick for me? Awesome. Good job, Charlie. You trace the letter D. Okay, and another app Charlie likes also is called uh, Teach Your Monster to Read. Um, and this app is pretty cool. So the cool thing about this app is she can pick um, several planets. Um, and each planet, um, she's learning how to sound out words. Or help the monster sound out words. Um, and as she's sounding out words, as she's sounding out letters, I'm sorry, it actually turns into words. And um, and as she gets better and better at them, or as she, the more um, letters she gets correct, the um, the level um, she moves up a level. So thank you, Charlie. Moving on to Keenan. Keenan's in third grade. Keenan, tell us what you like. Um, the first app is Freckle. You um you do math and ELA and get more points, and then you can get coins by doing practice. So right now I'm doing fact practice, and it's like you can you can do you can do math problems. Okay. The second app is Prodigy, and then you battle other people, and you have to and if you want to beat them, you have to use the correct answers or solve problems. Yes. Okay. Very cool. Thanks, Keenan. And Keanu, Hello. what do you like? Okay, so the first app I want to show you is called Typing Club. And Typing Club is a really useful app for typing because I use it all the time when I want to get better at typing. Which is very important because yes. of all the online classes we're taking and then all the typing that you have to do when you're taking tests at the end of the year. And so I'll just go into here and I'll say start typing and it'll have a lot of cool words you can type. Okay, pretty cool. And then the next thing is called Epic Books where as Charlie showed you, you can use, you can read a bunch of books about pretty much anything from comic books to other books and teachers can even send you books that you can read okay. and so there's a bunch of things you can do on epic books but there's just different variety of books on here and it's just a really fun book app okay thank you Keanu thank you Keenan and thank you Charlie for sharing that with us bye everyone bye.